Have you ever found yourself standing in front of a three-stream container trying to figure out what goes where? This presentation will help you be better at the bins. Senate Bill 1383 establishes a target to achieve a 75% reduction in statewide disposal of organic waste. It also requires that all businesses and residents properly sort their recyclables and compostables into the correct bins. To comply with the state law, everyone needs to take responsibility and properly sort materials into the correct waste streams. Contamination occurs when recycle, compost, and garbage are mixed improperly. Contamination in any of the waste streams can result in recyclable or compostable items ending up in the landfill, where they take up valuable space and produce methane, which is a potent greenhouse gas that contributes to global climate change. So what items should you be putting in each of the bins? Let's start with the recycle bin. Recyclables are materials that can be recovered and made into new products. Items that go into the recycling include clean paper, such as office paper, newspaper, and cardboard. Make sure to flatten boxes to save space in the dumpsters. Next is metal and aluminum, like soda cans and clean aluminum foil. Just ball up the foil and place it into the recycling, along with glass bottles and jars, and rigid plastic containers, jugs, or tubs, numbers one through seven. Make sure all containers and jars are empty and dry to prevent liquids from soiling the clean cardboard and paper in the bin. If your bottle or jar had a lid, you can put the lid back on before recycling. Recyclables should be placed in the recycling cart loose with no bags. Here are some common contaminants found incorrectly placed in the recycling. Leftover food should be composted before the aluminum or plastic container is placed in the recycling. Plastic film like saran wrap, plastic bags, and Ziploc bags are too flimsy to be recycled. They can jam the machinery at the materials recovery facility and cause the whole sorting process to stop. Plastic lined containers like milk cartons, juice cartons, broth containers, and hot coffee cups are made of a plastic lined paper. Since the plastic cannot be separated from the paper, these items cannot be recycled. Plastic utensils, straws, and lids under four inches are too small to be recycled. They fall through the machinery at the materials recovery facility. Here we have a recycling bin with some contamination. Pause and see if you can spot the contaminants. Hopefully you identified the improperly sorted items. There's a napkin that should have gone into the compost and some plastic utensils that should have gone into the garbage. Moving on to the compost bin. Compostable items are only items that were once living. An easy phrase to remember to determine whether an item should be composted is, if it grows, it goes. Food scraps like meat, bones, eggshells, dairy can all go into the compost along with food soiled paper like coffee filters, pizza boxes, and paper takeout boxes. Any tissues, napkins, and paper towels also belong in the compost because the paper fibers are too short to be recycled into new paper. Any yard trimmings and flowers also belong in the compost along with untreated wood like toothpicks, chopsticks, and coffee stirrers. The compost that is placed into the green bin gets taken to a compost facility where it is turned into finished compost and is used by farmers and gardeners as a soil amendment to grow fruits and vegetables. Organic waste can be collected loose or in a newspaper or brown paper bags. You can also contact AVI to request a free kitchen pail to help you collect your own food scraps. Here are some items that are not compostable but are commonly found incorrectly placed in the compost cart. Remember, contaminants that we don't want in the compost include gloves, plastic packaging, bioplastic cups or utensils, plastic utensils, and glass. If placed in the compost, 
These do not biodegrade and can end up in the finished compost that is used in our gardens and farms. Here we have a compost cart with some contamination. Take five seconds to see if you can spot the contaminants. Great, hopefully you're getting the hang of common contaminants in the waste bins now. There's some foil that should have been recycled after any leftover food was placed in the compost. There's some plastic utensils that should have been placed in the garbage. Even if utensils are labeled compostable, they are not accepted in our compost programs. They do not break down fully during the compost process. And finally, there's a latex glove that should have been placed in the garbage. Lastly, we have the trash or landfill bin. Very few items actually belong in this bin. If properly sorted, most items can be composted or recycled. Items that can't be composted or recycled include diapers and pet waste, plastic lined paper products, plastic utensils and straws, and plastic film like snack wrappers or bags. Here are a few best practices to keep in mind on your waste sorting journey. When in doubt, find out. If you aren't confident whether something can be composted or recycled, take some time to look it up or reference back to this presentation. Your action will positively impact the planet. If you don't have the time or resources, place the item in the landfill bin to avoid wish cycling. Wish cycling is when unaccepted items are put into the recycling or compost cart with the hope that they can be converted into new materials. When incorrectly sorted, these items can contaminate the entire load. Instead of wish cycling, we encourage you to find out where it properly goes. Before we get to the end of the sorting presentation, let's take a moment to review what we learned. Items that can be recycled include office paper, newspaper, cardboard, metal, aluminum, glass bottles and jars, and rigid plastic containers, numbers one through seven. Compostable items are leftover food scraps, food soiled paper, and yard waste. Items that should be placed in the garbage include diapers, pet waste, plastic lined paper products, plastic utensils and straws, and plastic film. For more detailed sorting information, use the Stop Waste resource tool at resource.stopwaste.org. To receive a free kitchen composting pail, contact AVI at 925-479-9545 or email info at amadorvalleyindustries.com. You can also email us at es at dublin.ca.gov with any questions. Thank you for taking time to learn proper sorting and be a part of the solution. We hope you feel more equipped to face three stream waste bins and take action to help protect our planet.